Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Money Wise channel, a place where we talk about inspirational things in the process of setting up goals. Because setting up goals is important. <laughs> Today we're going through some more emails because I love doing that. Keep sending them, keep sending them, keep sending them. I'm going to keep going through them. Um, I know it's taking me a minute, but I'm going one by one. Keep asking your questions. And I'm going to continue to, uh, you know, give you my opinion, some facts, just my perspective on how I see things. So in this particular email, someone was trying to basically explain to me that they've lost their self and they're trying to find their self and how to find their self with everything that's going on in their life and in the world. So I said, okay, I'm going to speak on that today. Um, I think I'm going to call this video Discover Me. Yeah, I'll call it Discover Me. I think that's, I think, yeah, that's a good title. Let's roll with that. <laughs> so first thing we have to understand, discovering. I would say on a basic level, that's, you know, to find something or someone unexpectedly or in the course of a search. Uh, to discover can also be looked at as um, to contain some type of secret you discover it through time you know so you have those two things you can look at it from that level of finding something or someone unexpectedly or in the course of searching you know and you can obtain these secrets through time you can discover these things you know um, discovering you can't look at it like just bumping into something like it just happened you could look at it like that yeah you could look at it like that but the best way to actually look at it is being in the process if you can be in the process of trying to find yourself understand yourself then that's the best way to discover me you know that would be the best journey voyage adventure you could ever go on is going through the process of discovering yourself and in this case of this video discovering me the process to discover me is what can put me at the highest level far as dealing with my life or your life understanding yourself the bible talks about know thyself it's important to know yourself it's important to see yourself in the most powerful position you can so you know first thing of discovering me is understanding your avatar your avatar is your body which is a machine your avatar is your body, which is like a machine. It's like if you play the game called The Sims, they have a body, right? And you can control what it's doing, but that's the avatar of you playing inside the show or The Sims. So our body is like what we need to be on Earth, your meat suit, so you can move around. So that means that your body and your avatar is not you. You are a spirit. You are inside the body. That is the real you. So you have to understand that. That you have an avatar. Body is the machine. Your meat suit to be on earth in this realm. And the spirit inside of it is you. That's the real you. Right? That's who you are when you're by yourself. Inside your head. Your mind. That's you. So under when you're discovering me your thing is to understand those things and to start to understand your divine plan why you're here what is your purpose you start to understand that then you start to understand the levels of life you start to be conditioned to the levels of life you know you start to understand that love and hate is on two sides of the same coin right love 
and hate are on two sides of the same coin. So no matter how you flip it, it can go either way. Some say it's a thin line between love and hate. It's so connected, one an extreme to the other, yin and yang. All, you have to understand this to discover me, to understand yourself, to know thyself. You have to understand how close love and hate is. Dark and light. Nobody can tell you the exact time where, where it becomes dark from light, from day. Or day to dark. They can say around this time will be a sunrise and sunrise. But they can't tell you exactly when, boom, it's going to hit right in front of your eyeballs. You see what I'm saying? The exact moment. Like, you don't know exactly when you fall asleep. You say, I fall asleep around 9, 10, 9, 11. You don't know exactly. Boom, it just happened. So that is the process of understanding how to discover me. Understand all these things about your life in these levels of life. So... Another thing you need to understand to discover me is your diet. What are you eating? How are you eating? How much are you eating? Why are you eating it? Oh, that's a process of itself. All that is discovering me. Understanding yourself. Drinking water. You have to discover yourself. Discover me. Know that 75% of your body is water. If you want to be healthy. And understand as you get older, that number goes down. That's because those people are dying. So if you understand the process of that, you're discovering yourself and you can be your best self because you'll make sure you stay hydrated. Meditation, spending time by yourself, prayer alone, because you can pray with other people, but sitting alone, meditating alone, vibing alone will help you discover me. Spending time by yourself, um, reading books is fundamental for the mind, gets the mind going, moving along read books it does something just the process of it and when you read a book instead of reading a movie you can imagine you work your imagination side you can work that process so read books study the bible says a study to show yourself approved every religion talks about studying any type of philosophy deals with studying you have to understand life itself you have to study life you have to study people you have to study conditions you have to be open to become the best person you can become so well, some might say okay okay I get all that but what can I do today far as building myself to where I can discover me well like I said first sit down Stop doing all that talking. Stop looking for other people. Stop. Sit down with yourself at least five to ten minutes a day. Quiet. Just be quiet. Because people say, I can't meditate. Okay, well, just can you sit down and be quiet? Can you, while you're sitting there, can you not move your fingers and your arms and your legs? Can you just sit still for five, ten minutes? Try it out every day and get better and better at it by not moving. And whatever part of your body that just jerks or moves... You might have some issues concerning yourself. And that's a whole nother concept, a uh, whole nother conversation of teaching you what part of your body uh, is what trauma or what situations. We'll get into that in another video. But for today, you could work on trying to calm that area of your body because every part of your body, it means something and it carries a certain situation. So just for now, that five, 10 minutes a day, sit quietly and now you start to pinpoint what parts of your body is moving and you start to put the energy there through yourself to calm that area bring peace to that area it's something you have to work on you know on a daily basis so once you do that once you raise yourself up you're doing that make sure you're drinking your liquids drink water you know what i'm saying if you drink alcohol that's fine all that but just know when you do that you need more water because uh, alcohol and things of that nature actually um, will make you more thirsty and actually depletes your level of water in your body so you want to be conscious of that so you have to work along with that okay um, be conscious of what you eat how much you put this like someone says oh I love to eat steak and that's fine eat what you want but know that every steak measures out to 30 plus cigarettes one steak can measure out to 30 you smoking 30 plus cigarettes at one time so you have to have the knowledge to understand that that could cause you some problems. Well, I like to eat pork chops. I like to eat ham. 
Well, ham is the butt of the pig and the pork chop is inside of the body and to the back. You have to understand that, which carries a lot of pain and agony on the pig. I like bacon, okay? That's the part that they lay on on their stomach, right? So I'm just saying you have to understand what you're eating in your diet. So I'm not trying to tell you to be vegan or vegetarian, nothing like that. I'm just saying if it's important to discover me, know thyself, find out what's best for you, search it out, become the best person you can be and push forward. And, you know, no matter what you go through, smile. Always put a big smile on your face, okay? And know that plans may change, but goals stay the same. Like and subscribe to this Money Wise channel, and I'll see you on the next video, okay? Yep. <laughs>